if the average individual amongst us was to be asked to list the rights pertaining to his spouse or to her spouse you will find that the answer is usually very readily available similarly if we were to be asked to list the rights of our employer or our employee again we will not need to give the question a second thought the answers are there in fact even if a person was to be asked about the rights of his pet or the rights of his or her electronic device we know the answer is there and we don't need to give it a second thought yet what is remarkable is that when the very same question is posed with regards to the rights of the Quran that book which is a gift from Allah Almighty to humanity the book that we claim is what regulates every one of our breaths in the life of this world and is our guide in the hereafter as well when we are asked what are the rights of this book upon us you will find that there is hesitation amidst the average Muslim individual the answer the answer isn't readily available and this dear brothers and sisters will not come without consequences if this issue of us being unable to identify and list and act upon the rights of the Quran it's going to give us a very hard time on the day of standing when the Quran will make its voice heard like never before the Quran will have a voice on the day of judgment and the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he says capturing this meaning that we are speaking about he says as Imam Muslim narrates in his Sahih on the authority of Abi Umamat al-Bahili اِقْرَأُوا الْقُرْآنِ فَإِنَّهُ يَأْتِي يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ شَفِيعًا لِأَصْحَابِهِ Recite the Qur'an because the Qur'an is going to come on the day of judgment and it's going to intercede for people on that day. It's going to argue for them. And the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says in yet a more graphic hadith than the one that you just heard, that which Imam Muslim narrates on the authority of the companion al Nawas ibn Sam'an. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, يُؤْتَى بِالْقُرْآنِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَأَهْلِهِ الَّذِينَ كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ بِهِ تَقُدُمُهُ سُورَةُ الْبَقَرَةِ وَآلُ عِمْرَانِ Recite the Qur'an. He said, on the day of judgment, the Qur'an will be brought forth along with its people who used to act upon it in the life of this world. And in front of them will be Surah Al-Baqarah and Surah Al Imran, chapter 2 and chapter 3 of the Quran. Then the narrator of this hadith he said, who is An Nawas ibn Sam'an, he said, وَضَرَبَ لَهُمَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ ثَلَاثَةَ أَمْثَالٍ مَا نَسِيتُهُنَّ بَعْدٍ He said the Messenger وسلم, gave three analogies to how the Quran is going to look or Al-Baqarah and Ali Imran, how they are going to look on the Day of Judgment. He gave them three visual analogies for us to think about that I have never forgotten about since the day I heard it. He said, كَأَنَّهُمَا غَمَامَتَانِ أَوْ ظُلَّتَانِ سَوْدَاوَانِ بَيْنَهُمَا شَرْقٍ أَوْ كَأَنَّهُمَا حِزْقَانِ مِنْ طَيْرٍ صَوَافٍ he says they will look on the day of judgment like two clouds. Surah Ali Imran and Surah Al Baqarah, what we see today as just ink on paper. And Quran that we recite very, quick, very, quick, very quickly in the days of Ramadan, he says they will look like two clouds in the sky. Or, the narrator says, or they will look like two huge black canopies with light in between them. Or they will look like two huge ranks of birds in the sky arguing the case of the individual on the day of judgment. Imagine, imagine. Therefore I ask dear brothers and sisters, what more can a person want for his lawyer on the day of judgment before Allah to be none other than the very word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What more could you wish for? Therefore, contrary to what we may think and assume, the Quran is not merely a book that sits quietly minding its own business on the shelf. 
But it is a book that will make its voice heard like never before on the day of standing. And it will make its presence known, physically speaking, La ilaha illallah. A book that will become a game changer for many people on that long day. A book that will influence the decision as per where your final destination will be, paradise or hell. This is the Qur'an.